backcourts. They are the two seed, and they take on the Richmond Spiders. The seven seed, who have won a game already, as the action continues here in D.C., and they play for the A-10 tournament title. Welcome you to College Basketball on NBCSN, the first of our doubleheader tonight from Capital One Arena. The seven seed, the Richmond Spiders, taking on the two seed, the Bonnies of St. Bonaventure. Terry Gannon with you with two teams earlier today having already advanced to tomorrow's semifinals. Two more tonight look to survive and advance here in the A-10 tournament. The bracket has Rhode Island taking on St. Joseph's. Rhode Island so tough. The top seed coming in. Richmond, St. Bonaventure in the opener, and later tonight in the nightcap, St. Louis takes on the three seed, Davidson. Working alongside David Kaplan. Well worked, David Kaplan. We got two more tonight, pal. Um, we'll start with St. Bonaventure, and, and you have to. 12 in a row hottest team in the A-10 and the best backcourt in the A-10. Maybe the country, one of the best at least. They're certainly in the team photo for best backcourt in the country, Terry. Jalen Adams, co-player of the year in the league. I had him at Duquesne when he popped for 40. Matt Mobley is right there hot on his heels. And both guys play off the other one. There were nights where they had double teams going at Adams. Mobley exploded. There were nights that Mobley said, my, dis my job is to distribute the ball. That's the win over Duquesne when he got 40, and that's the game winner. Both guys work very well in concert. Mobley has unlimited range, as does Adams. And both are very good passers and defenders. So they fit very well in everything, say Bonaventure to do. No question they get all the hype and they deserve the hype as a backcourt in this league. But we had last night Richmond against Duquesne. They advance with a win there and that's a backcourt that's not going to take a back seat to many. It is not and they play what's called the Princeton offense or for the layman positionless basketball. You're asked to screen, you're asked to post, you're asked to shoot threes at any of the five spots on the floor. There's Buckingham off the dribble, kicking it back out, finding an open shooter. It's all about being unselfish. It's all about movement, spacing, and passing. And when Richmond can make shots from way downtown like Gilliard did last night, he's a really tough player despite being 5'7", and he's willing to pass the ball. The guys are making shots, they're tough. Richmond 12 and 19 on the year, 9 and 9 during the regular season in 8-10 play, but a difficult task for them tonight. They take on a St. Bonaventure team that is 24 and 6 overall, 14 and 4 in the A-10. And for more on the Bonnies, here's Jordan Cornett. Well, Terry, you nailed that record for St. Bonaventure, and yet still they find themselves a bubble team. Talking with the coaching staff, I said, how do you guys prepare for a game with so much pressure knowing you're on that bubble? Well, the quick response was, after an early loss to St. Joseph's, we found ourselves 1-3 and three in conference. We treated every game moving forward like a game seven. So these guys understand what it's like to play with pressure. All they've done is rattle off wins. We have to do so tonight to impress the tournament committee and advance in this conference tournament here tonight. Those 12 wins in a row, Jordan, the longest school winning streak in the A-10. Mark Smith, the head coach in his 11th year, and Chris Mooney, the head coach of the Richmond Spiders, now on the bench there for 13 years. Second winningest coach in Richmond history. So, David, we're set with the officials, Lamar Simpson, Tony Chiazza, and Jerry Heater. Should be on the right to play in the semifinals tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun because you've got a lot of guys that can make shots at a high volume. Richmond a winner last night, 81-68 over Duquesne. St. Bonaventure with that double bye as one of the top four seeds. And we are underway in Washington, D.C. Nick Shiraj give, give it off to Jacob Gilliard and Monte Buckingham. Quan four. Grant Golden also out there, the redshirt freshman. It is a young team, but a talented team for the Spiders. Buckingham, who did not play in the first matchup between these two, is dehydrated, had leg cramps. Golden with the miss on the opening possession, and here come the Bonnies. Longest winning streak since 1969-1970. It was 13 in a row that year. That's what they're going after tonight. Courtney Stockert gives it off to Jalen Adams, the co-player of the year in the A-10. 
Mobley first try and a miss, and it's Golden who clears. How about pace of this game, David? What favors whom? I would think if it's up-tempo, and I mean at a real high pace, it favors St. Bonaventure. They have so many guys that can score, and those two guards just govern everything and then have unlimited range. I think for Richmond, they're, they're going to run a little, but they want to make touches. They want to get the ball and get that defense moving. Stockard, who's been so good lately, he's averaged 25 points a game, 10 rebounds in his last three. And you got Mobley and Adams, both first-team all-conference performers. The quick first step from Adams can't get the roll. And it'll be Quan Four, who's only a six-footer, a junior from Huntsville, but can soar, can absolutely leap. Oh, we saw that dunk last night in the oh. open. There was oohs and ahs all over the place. Golden 0 for 2, outside then inside so far. Adams going to pull up, won't be bashful. And a lid on the bucket so far. But if you play for Mark Schmidt, you're one of these guards, you know I got the green light. I can go. It's a good feeling to have. I would imagine. I've never had it. I would imagine. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a good feeling. Richmond, who lost five in a row, and now at the end of the regular season and last night, they've won three in a row. Inside out, the ball movement, Buckingham. Two on the shot clock, four lost control. Tipped out, and that's going to be a shot clock violation. There was no pose clear possessions. That's why they stopped them as the ball's loose at midcourt. Richmond people here from St. Bonaventure. You got a nice crew here. It's a ways from <laughs> that's a long <laughs> part of New York, yes. It is D.C., though. First time ever here in Washington, D.C. Before it goes back to Brooklyn and the Barclays Center the next three years. A whistle and a foul, offensive foul. Idris Taki, the senior from Snellville, Georgia. Yeah, Idris Taki puts the arm down. That's what got him. It wasn't as much the contact as extending that arm out away from his body. These two teams met on February 10th at St. Bonaventure. The Bonnies with the win 97 to 88 in that one. So a high scoring game. They averaged 78 a game. Rejected out of bounds. It'll stay here with 14 on the clock. But we're seeing really good recognition when guys penetrate. Both teams have done an excellent job rotating over and helping. Now, if you're a coach, you look at it, you want the double buy, of course, to finish in the top four, but you know you're going to face a team that's coming off a win. It's got some confidence, got some momentum. Now, I hear some people say, well, if you already played last night. Maybe you're tired. These are 21 year old kids at, at the oldest. Yeah, maybe four games in four days. Or That's five different. Five, but, but one game? Yeah. I almost give the advantage physically to Richmond having their legs under. Backcourt with a very good game last night. Gilliard had 20 in that win. Quad four at 14 points in that win. Six of seven for the floor for Quad four. Stockard rises just outside the free throw line in the first bucket of the game. It's a deuce. Good patience. Took the ball to the short corner. Nothing there. Tried to feed the post. Nothing there. Go back out top. One dribble and get a 15-footer. So the Bonnie's open two for five and Richmond 0 for five from the floor so far. Tipped out. It's going to stay at this end. Mark Schmidt doesn't agree. See a really good job. Take it into the teeth. Force the defense to shift just ever so slightly and it gives enough room for Stockard to get himself to the free throw line. Schmidt active on the sideline. A running conversation the whole time. Pawn four all the way in for the lay-in. We went by Mobley who's a really good defender. Inside out they go. Stockard nope. And Golden another rebound. The man is a redshirt freshman from Winchester, Virginia, 6'10, 230 pounds. Put on some good weight after being out for much of the last year. Had a heart condition, collapsed during a game last December, and has come back as a redshirt freshman now. They did a procedure, corrected what was the problem, and he banks it in. <laughs> wow, did he call that? No, it, it doesn't matter. Once 
the clock starts, it does not matter. Late night banking in D.C. Opening three for Golden. He's got three rebounds as well. I think he's going to be a beast the next three years. All rookie team this year. Taken away. Opportunity in the open court for four. Easy lay-in. What great recognition. The turnover happens. Boom! Down the court. And not only is he down the court, but they look down the court. Get an easy bucket. And a great start for the Spiders. The lob underneath to the left hand. Amadi Ekpizi. He's not a primetime scorer, but he's got that big body inside, and he's got pretty good hands and a nice catch. Sophomore from Buffalo, averaging about four points per game. 20-plus wins the last three years for the Bonnies. Long-range miss, high into the air is Mobley. In four straight years with at least ten conference wins. Picked it up, put it back down. I think he did. And you cannot do that. Well, the Spiders do a really good job here with Quan four, splits two defenders, and then he says he called this. At least Terry says he called no, it. No, 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 no. Bam! <laughs> and then that's how you leak out. You got to look and you got to finish. He called that one. Yes, he did. Meant to bank it. great deal more than a great deal at the hyundai season of more event get up to 37.50 in total savings or zero percent apr for 60 months plus 17.50 cash back sale ends soon they have a long history of hate two great rivals this an occasion of fire and brimstone for over 120 years this has been the fiercest rivalry in english football oh that's raised the temperature into the area oh, yeah! Time hasn't healed any of the wounds. All rise for Premier League mornings. Manchester United, Liverpool on NBCSN. Attention drivers, has the manufacturer warranty on your car expired? If so, every extra mile you drive puts you at risk for expensive repairs. How will you get back on the road when you're faced with bills for hundreds or thousands of dollars? Assisted Auto Repair can get you affordable coverage you need. If your vehicle is less than 10 years old and has less than 150,000 miles on it, we may be able to save you thousands in auto repairs. Call us now for a free quote and get referred to an extended repair protection provider in your area. You choose the coverage and we'll find a plan that works for you regardless of your budget our plan can save you thousands in repair bills we'll even tow your car for nothing just show your protection card assisted auto repair makes it simple you pick the repair shop and we pay them directly call for a free quote and start saving and now if you're one of the first 200 callers receive a roadside assistance plan absolutely free with your activation call 1-800-241-3829 that's 1-800-241-3829 call now College basketball on NBCSN is brought to you by Firestone. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Action earlier today, two games in the quarterfinals. Two more tonight, the first of two. Richmond up by three over St. Bonaventure comes in red hot, having won 12 games in a row. Gonzaga, Murray State, those are the longest active winning streaks in the NCAA. And I have seen Loyola play. I've seen South Dakota State play. Very good team. Loyola of Chicago with 10 straight. That's a really good team. You love that team. I do. How about St. Bonaventure and their tournament resume? 24 and 6. Look at their IPI, RPI. I know it's not all about that, but good win. Buffalo's a better win than people think at Syracuse in a great game. And Rhode Island, a great win. When they say bad losses, at St. Joseph's, the four seed who's in the semis, that's not a bad loss. Maybe the Niagara loss, but not the St. Joseph's loss. Plus, the committee will look and say, well, why were you struggling earlier in the season? Well, Adams was dealing with a foot injury so until they got him back and then got him back to 100 percent i think all that weighs in i think it's a really good team you, you think they've earned a trip 
I do think they've earned a trip, but they have to win tonight and tomorrow and get to the final, probably, for me, I, to erase all the doubt the committee's made. Richmond started 0 for 5. They're now 3 of their last 5. The Bonnie's 2 of 6, and they've turned it over 3 times. And have yet to hit a 3. They're the top 3-point shooting team in the league, percentage-wise. Just as I say it, there you go. They, you called it. They have other guys that can make some shots. They're not high scorers because it's so much about the two guards, but Taki got a really clean look, and he did what he had to do. He buried it. And that's a bonus when you get that from Idris Taki beyond the arc. Buckingham had Golden inside, didn't look there. Gilliard, big game last night. Quick. Everything he does is quick. Three on the shot clock, though. Buckingham doesn't draw iron. Good defensive set for Mark Schmidt's club. Great offensive set. To go to the other end, there's Adams, and now they kick it to Idris Taki, and you see Golden backed off. He's thinking, is Adams going to take it to the paint? Or are they going to shoot it from the top with Stocker? It's only a 6-3 of the year. So right. you see why he'd back off, and you got the other two out there. Right. Scotty report says he's probably not going to shoot it. Can't back off that guy. Mobley scrambled, gets it back, kicks it out. Adams. Nope. Not yet. Gilliard quickly. Julius Johnson just checked in. Golden wants the ball. Yeah, finally get it to him. There's the double right away, though. Kick it back out. Four. Cross court. Gilliard. Quick release and a three just beyond the arc. That was such magnificent team basketball. They went from one side, dove it to the post on the other side, and all the way back to the other side to get the shot. Stockard wanted contact and a call, didn't get it, so Golden just held his ground. Boy, he is posting up every single time down the floor. He's a really active player in this system. And it's a system that is very active. Johnson, little strong. But Darian Griffin, who just came in off the bench, hauls in the rebound as they move it quickly. Taki looks for another one. Nope. That's why he has six on well, the season. Well, that might be, yeah. Because I was talking with Phil Martelli after the game today, and he said, we played some zone, and when they make the first three, I say to my assistants, okay, that's enough with the zone. <laughs> but they go, coach, just... Uh, it's a typical coach thought. Just deal with it. Gilliard, the backup three. Over Taki. And I'm sure when... To, when the, the, to key hit the shot here, Chris Mooney had to go, you got to be kidding me. Okay, get out on him. Just relax, coach. We well, know what we're doing here. And if you're Mark Schmidt, sometimes you think that's the worst thing that could have happened. Correct. Now he <laughs> thinks he can make it. Mobley contact again. Whoa. No call, but how nice off the glass. I mean, he took that into a 6'10", 240-pound guy. That was a big-time shot. He averages over 18 points per game, and Adams averages over 20 per game. It's a productive backcourt. Highly. Golden had it tipped. Griffin got it back, spins, never gave up on it. Never gave up, and what I love about watching Golden play, he's exceptionally alert. He's always looking everywhere on the court. Five in the game so far for Grant Golden. Along with five rebounds already. A little bit late getting out, though, on Courtney Stockard. He makes him pay. That's the second free throw line jumper he's hit. That's been that one area they've been able to get the ball there if they want to. So that Richmond offense now goes side to side, Princeton style facing his zone at the moment. They are missing Golden on the baseline. Gilliard, the penetration, did it go off his knee? No, it did not. Or at least they say it did not. So it'll stay at the Richmond end when we come back. Well, Richmond does a really nice job here. Patience, and then Gilliard with the step back. Buries the long triple, and then Golden never quits on the play. Had it blocked, back on the window for a deuce.
devotion. And long live the trucks that are always right there with you. Right now, get 0% APR financing for 72 months on 2018 Ram 1500 models. The beef has to be corned, the kraut sour, and the dressing needs to taste like no less than a thousand islands. Arby's Rubin. Arby's, we have the meat. Search for a really strong glue that's clear. Sorry, I didn't get that. Clear glue. <laughs> Clear Gorilla Glue. Of course. Gorilla Glue Strength in a crystal clear formula for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. The Fix Finder tool from AutoZone is a fast source of relief. It tells you what's the most likely fix for your engine light on the spot. For her, a gas cap. For them, new spark plugs. Need a repair shop? We can help with that too. So, how will the AutoZone Fix Finder help you? Spiders of Richmond, the underdog tonight against the two-seat St. Bonaventure, but up by four, and it's something to watch their offense work. Jordan takes us inside the game right now. Yeah, guys, you know, so much talk about Coach Moody's Princeton-style offense. It has a lot of things that it's predicated on. Ball movement, player movement. Right here is a great example of ball movement. Take a look at the video. Guys sharing the sugar here off the rebound. It's going to be four with the outlet. Gilliard at five nine can really push that thing. Just watch the touches. One, two passes, three. A little drive, four kicks. A post touch is going to come at some point. Five, six. Down low, seven. This is really making defense commit. Eight. Swing nine. Gilliard catch and finish. Good luck defending that. That is exhausting just to count let alone to defend, guys. Well, it, it's exhausting to defend. I mean, you make the defense work side to side, penetrate, kick, pass, another dribble. Everything's different rhythm-wise, and you've got to keep up with that. You not only have to keep up with it, it also is going to affect you at the other end. You're exhausted. Yeah. You go, <laughs> wow, and then they bury a three, and now we got to come back down and run our set. So the call did keep it at this end. Seven seconds on the shot clock. they got to be aware of that. Gilliard going to be pressured a bit by Adams. And they get a shot off. Nick Sherrod. Boy, had a good look, too. And it'll stay here with a fresh 30. Mark Schmidt's looking around. Saying, really? Sherrod takes a seat. Quan Four comes back in. For Mark's club offensively, the two guards, Adams and Mobley, one for six collectively, and they have yet to hit a three. Gilliard had it changed a bit by Adams, tipped out. <laughs> and Mark Smith saying, Come on, we got to get one of these. Right. He's looking around the crowd, yelling, going, Wait a minute, <laughs> every single one's off of us? Let's take a look. That's a good call. Yeah, no, I That's think the they've right been call. right. The last two certainly were good calls. Just the odds at some point have to be in your favor. You're going to get one of those. But I remember coaching and thinking every call is going against us. And then you put the tape on in a in cooler heads prevail. Yeah, I guess he got that. Cooler heads probably never prevailed, really. Not too often. Nathan KO's in off the bench for Richmond. Well, they are quick. I mean, from the perimeter to the hoop, Quan four, just like that, don't blink. We've seen a handful of guys in the last two days, you and I, Bo Ziegler, guys who just whoop, right to the rim. They're just so quick on the bounce. Rockington also in off the bench for the Bonnies. They're both coaches going to their bench now with 8.55 in the first. Adam's just off tonight. Yeah, that wasn't even close. No, he's not been really close. 
0 for 4, 0 for 3 beyond the arc so far. And they don't look good when they go up. But the question is, as a shooter, oh, you keep shooting. if you make one, does it think, all right, I'm good. And it might be a layup that you make. Right. It opens everything up. Gilliard to the baseline, got help, made himself available. Four, strong to the hoop. This man is six feet, 175 pounds. Largest lead of the night for the Spiders, but that changes in a hurry. Stockard again. But he's been the guy. Hit the two jo jump shots at the free throw line. There he hits the triple. He's been active. Had 19 double-figure games this year. I mean, he, he is someone defensively you have to pay attention to. Stock Stockton came out quickly. And Brockton didn't get a pick up the foul. So that's his first, the freshman from Philly. Watch Gilliard to four. And then look how quick this kid is. Boom! One dribble. Get me to the rim. And then here comes Gilliard again. There's the kick. And four explodes again to the rim. This is Lobster Fest at Red Lobster with exciting new dishes like dueling lobster tails and lobster truffle mac and cheese. Classics like Lobster Lover's Dream are here too. So enjoy these 10 lobster-licious dishes while you can because Lobster Fest won't last. Get a great deal more than a great deal. At the Hyundai Season of More event, get up to $37.50 in total savings or 0% APR for 60 months plus $17.50 cash back. Sale ends soon. Sports Championship season presented by Canada Drive begins with the Kentucky Derby on NBC. Take one. Let's talk about when you got braces for the first time. I did have to wear headgear. Pieces of metal in your mouth. Popping off rubber bands. I'm breaking off brackets. And by the end, my teeth moved back again. Goodbye, embarrassing wires and brackets. At Smile Direct Club, we straighten and brighten smiles for 60% less than braces. Each month, we'll send your family invisible aligners that continue to gently straighten their teeth. Get started for as low as $80 a month at SmileDirectClub.com. Nice truck, Shaq. Hey, thanks for coming by. I want to talk to you about my friend. He let his car insurance lapse. Not a problem. We'll give him credit for any prior coverage he had in the last five years. I like your style. Just making auto insurance easier. Let's take a ride. <laughs> Got an elevator? Use the stairs. <laughs> Get your anonymous online quote with low payments now. <laughs> for a great low rate you can get online, go to the general and save some time. If you don't know, the PGA Tour is at Innisbrook. Valspar Championship. Oh, I, I, McElroy, yeah, but you know who's playing. Some guy named Woods. Eldrick? Yes. Tiger just two back. Four under, three under today. And a lot of people talking about the weekend coverage ahead. Noon Eastern on Golf Channel and then NBC at 3 o'clock Eastern time. Meanwhile, here in D.C., quarterfinal action continues. First of two tonight. Richmond, very good so far. Up by five over St. Bonaventure. There's a look at Jalen Adams. Out of rhythm right now. We'll see if he and Mobley can get rolling. So, Mark Schmidt was coaching said I'm making four or five thousand dollars here you look at the a10 first team Peyton Aldridge and Adams co players of the year we'll see Peyton Aldridge in yep. our second game it's a really good team but Mark is making he said five or six grand and he goes I'm out of money that's it I'm done and he ends up getting a job for twelve thousand works on a coca-cola truck he said I'm sitting in the break room with a shirt on with the name tag it says Mark I'm going, what am I doing <laughs> <laughs> I can't make it in this business. I got a family. And all of a sudden, he ends up getting a job at Penn State. He follows Skip Prosser. He buys a house. Four, four days later, Skip gets the job at Xavier. Calls and goes, you know that house you just bought? Put it back on the market. You're going to Xavier. And here he is at St. Bonaventure now, one of the better coaches in the country. That's wild. Took him to the uh, tournament back in 2012. NIT 2016. 8-10 Coach of the Year. 
in 2016, won the regular season title that year. Tournament champs in 2012. Nelson Caputo on the floor, but that's Mobley a deep three, and that is a good sign for the Bonnies. Deep three, and it gets the lid off for him, and maybe he relaxes now. Can one of the teammates, Adams, relax by his own other guy making the shot? Does that help at all? No. Not as a shooter. You want to feel it go in the hoop. It, it can be contagious as a team, but not if you're a shooter. I don't think. Because in baseball, sometimes hitting becomes contagious. To the corner, Caputo. Left-hand jumper. Uh -oh! Followed in. Griffin on the follow. Ladarian Griffin slithered inside and then got all of it. So the Bonnies, down throughout this opening half, have tied it up at 19. It's that run, if you're Richmond, and Chris Mooney, you knew it was going to come at some point. And there's an answer. Demonte Buckingham, the three. Got a good, clean look, too. Their offense is so tough to defend. Got him a real open look. Caputo around KO. And Nathan, a little bit late getting there, is going to be whistled for the foul. It's just the third foul that we've had call it in this game watch the dunk because he does such a good job at not quitting on the play and just slithering inside he beats ko who never sees him uh oh he's by him already and now he finishes it it's a great look too from that angle fabulous ko has got to as soon as the ball goes up you got to look and find a body check him off then go get the ball he stood and watched Adams, good feet underneath. Griffin lost it, got it back, up and in. Nice pass by Adams. Good finish by Griffin, but a really nice pass off penetration. And Jalen averages about four assists per game to go with the 20 plus points. The man who hasn't touched it lately, Golden. And five quick points, five rebounds, and that was just stuck. Got it back and didn't give up. Second time that's happened tonight. Second time we've seen him get a shot not only stuffed, but it's loose, and he comes up with it. The spider settled back defensively. Back to his zone for Richmond. Stocker got a challenger. Golden hesitated. He keeps hitting those shots. The Stocker is a kid who missed two years with foot injuries. Said, I'm done. That's it. And they said, one last treatment. Let's try something else. It worked. And look what the player he is now. Traveling violation at the other end. So the Bonnies get it back. Stocker, it's four of five. He's in double figures already. He sees Golden staying back. He says, okay. I've already burned you three times. Man, there goes another one. And he was really, if you look at it, when the season started, the wild card for them, because of that injury and being out for the two years, if he could give them some production, they knew they were going to be very good, and he has, and especially as of late. Yeah, Mark Smith said we really didn't count what we would get from him at all. Look at that the pass. pass. And the foul didn't get the bucket to go. Chris Mooney cannot believe the call. Chris Mooney saying, well, well, what did my guy do? He didn't touch him. Let's take a look again. Here's the cut. There's the pass. There is no foul. There. Well, you can't, you can't really tell from that angle. He may have gotten him on. Although the reaction right away would lead you to believe he didn't. First free throws that we have seen tonight. That man doesn't think we should be seeing that. No. <laughs> Griffin, the first man off the bench, nearly nine points per game. Tony Chiazza, the official, and you can hear Chris going, Tony! Tony Smart, he stayed over by you and I. One way to handle it. That's it. Oh, you called me? I couldn't hear you. Golden lost it out of bounds, off his knee. Bonnie basketball. Golden frustrated saying that it was not off of him and Chris Mooney said settle down make the extra pass and I think it did go off of Golden's way
You know, you make a call, somebody is going to argue. Always. Uh, it's just inevitable. Mobley tried to get it to the baseline. Couldn't. Tipped away. Taken away. Buckingham. Good decision. Pull it out, re-rack, and get back into your offense. And movement against the man this time. Golden, there's the double, looking for four. Quick hands, long hands, and the takeaway. Stocker on the run, oh. and the finish. What a beautiful job, Terry to look off the defender to the right wing and then go up and finish with authority. That was beautiful. Out of their seats, the Bonnies fans here. 16-5 run by St. Bonaventure. And under three minutes until the break. Gilliard, yeah, somehow so reloaded, big. thought about it, said, yeah, I'll go ahead and try it. He has hit some big shots the last two nights. Huge. You got the Bonnie crowd going, and he just ice water on it. Just a freshman from Kansas City. He's got nine in the game, three of four beyond the arc. And Mobley, same spot, he hit his first. And now he's starting to heat up, looks up at the crowd. He's into it. Eight in the game for Matt Mobley. You knew you wouldn't keep both of those guys in the backcourt down for long. Four, and the reach. Caputo whistled for his first. Well, the whole key in the fast break when you have a chance to get to the basket is you got to look off the defender. Watch this. Outstanding job. Stockard looks him off to the right, comes down to defender. Look. Whoop, right to the rim. Either that or Gilliard wanted no part of it. No part. There's a chance of that. <laughs> Absolutely. So, the General can insure almost any car and any driver? We sure can. You know, I was insured by the General when I was younger. Well, we provided low-cost auto insurance for more than 50 years. Hey, I'm not that old. <laughs> At the General, monthly payments are low with immediate online proof of insurance. Get your anonymous online quote with low payments and ride with the General. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the General and save some time. Seven ingredients. Whatever they are. Corrosion inhibitor. Solvent fluid. Demulsifier. Fuel detergent number one. Fuel detergent number two. Anti-adhesion compound. And marker molecules. Get better gas mileage with Synergy. Exxon and Mobil. Energy lives here. This next song is all about my $20 fill-up. Eight pieces of Kentucky Fried Chicken, all the fixings, and it'll feed your family of four. Hit it, boys. A one and a two. And we're out of time. It's finger licking good. Land Rover, above and beyond. Oh, my Lord. Sundays are four. Astronaut, he scores! The NHL Game of the Week. Bruins, Blackhawks, 12 Eastern on NBC. He had the Democratic presidential nomination within reach until the unwritten rules of reporting changed forever. He never committed adultery. I do not have to answer that question. This happened. Sex lies in the candidate. Tonight at 10 on MSNBC. And hi again, everyone. Jimmy Roberts in our NBCSN studios coming up at the half. The U.S. Bank Sports Report joined by Ron Thompson to break down a very competitive first half of this game. We'll also show you how Alabama responded after yesterday's buzzer beater in the SEC tournament. It's all coming up at halftime. Right now, though, back to D.C., Terry, David, and Jordan.
Jimmy, thank you. St. Bonaventure up by three. They started the game three of ten, but they've hit nine of their last 11, and they're shooting 57% from the floor all of a sudden. And you expect a high number of points to come from that great backcourt of co-player of the year, Adams and Matt Mobley. Adams has struggled early, but Mobley, a rhythm three. Good job to kick to the wing, and then he'll hit again from nearly the identical spot. He's going to come back, get to his spot, set his feet, boom. And that's what great scorers do. Whatever the sport is, it could be basketball, it could be hockey, great scorers put the puck or the ball in the net. And don't stop looking to when they're not. Correct. 93s on the year now for Matt Mobley. Shoots over 37%, and they're the numbers I was just talking about. So a big... St. Bonaventure run to take a three-point lead with a couple of minutes left. By the way, shout out to our guy Eddie Olchek. He's actually watching the game tonight. Yeah, good man. Send our best. It's the best. So we'll see how Richmond can respond out of the timeout. Buckingham wants that ball. He's got Taki on it. Here he is. Here's that matchup. Sherrod with two on the shot clock. Got to go. Golden did not get it out in time, and that's out of a timeout. And they had a couple opportunities. Buckingham wanted the ball mid-post on the other side of the lane. They didn't throw it to him. Just not aware of how much time was left. That won't make Chris Mooney happy. Here's a number that won't make him happy, too. Four turnovers in the last three minutes. And St. Bonaventure starting to heat up. Idris Taki rising over Golden in and out and then the reach. And they'll get Taki here. And that's his second. Golden looks like he's not quite in rhythm right now. He's had a couple post opportunities. They didn't get him the ball. He hasn't touched it where he can do a lot with it. The baskets that he scored have been two block shots that he stayed active, bounced, grabbed it, and laid it back in. Did work early. 7.7 .7 rebounds to go along with those. But uh, as of late, not a big factor offensively. Guarded by Ladarian Griffin right now. As they now go back to the zone. Attacking that 1-3-1 one, one zone. Long three and nobody close to an offensive rebound that no. time for the Spiders. Settling. Caputo. Off the heel, Sherrod the long rebound. If you had under a minute here. Often a big momentum time of the game. For yes. Oh, he can beat you a number of different ways. Juan four. Only had nine threes during the regular season. Mark Schmidt went to the floor. That's how mad he is, given that type of open look. Baby boomers, here's something you should know. There's a serious virus out there that one in 30 boomers has, yet most don't even know it. A virus that's been almost forgotten. It's hepatitis C. Hep C can hide in the body for years without symptoms. Left untreated, it can lead to liver damage, even liver cancer. The only way to know if you have Hep C is to ask your healthcare provider for the simple blood test. If you have Hep C, it can be cured. For us, it's time to get tested. It's the only way to know for sure. 48.4 until the break, and we are tied. Got a good one going on here in D.C. Quarterfinal for the right to move on to tomorrow's semifinal. And that last offensive set could prove big for Richmond. Well, it's which poison do you want to take? Do you want to give up the dribble penetration? Here comes Buckingham, so Caputo helps, and nobody gets back out. And there's the open look from the three-point strike for Quan Four. Now, Mark Schmidt dropped to his knees and went, guys, what are we doing? But if you watch that, Caputo's going to say, coach, i got to try and stop the ball as he gets into the paint. I'll take the shot on the three. And one thing leads to another. Adams on that little bit late getting around that screen to stop the penetration. Correct. So it's Caputo who will control. Adams done some other things, but it's been a tough first half scoring wise. Mobley with the miss. Griffin, strong rebound and stick back. 
Gets two real good opportunities by Griffin. One the dunk, one the rebound and the stick back. Just excellent work on the offensive board. He's been big off the bench too. Seven points, five rebounds, three of them offensive rebounds. He and Stockard really showing the way. Under 10 until the break. Gonna Buckingham's going to try and take his baseline, see if he can get a shot. Yeah, not a good one. And they bail him out with a foul. Wow. Stockard gets whistled for the foul. Boy, you were forcing him into an exceptionally tough shot. Here comes Stockard. Tough to tell from that angle. What a break. For Richmond, though, huge. Demonte, 78% from the line. First free throws of the evening for the Spiders. And a chance to even it up. Let's see, did he get a foul here? Oh, he's on the arm. No question yeah, about him. it. Yeah. No question. Cannot hit him in the elbow and not think you're going to get called. Want to know if Mark Schmidt wants a timeout here. Mark's busy with the officials at the moment. See, here's where I'd like the rule change. I'd like the NBA. Take the timeout and let me advance the ball to half court. I'm with you. But it doesn't exist in college basketball, so they do take the timeout with 1.5. And it's tied up at 32. So you know all about Adams and Mobley, but how about the backcourt for the Richmond Spiders and what we've watched? You got Gilliard, you got Quan Four, guys who are banging shots. They're really tough. Whether the ball is in their hands or they're moving without the ball, making other people get opportunities. There's a really nice job by Ford and Phil off the feed from Gilliard. They work very well together. Nine and nine on the year in league play. Richmond, who won tournament title back in 2011 and been to the NCAA tournament nine times in 2011, the last time they made it to the dance. See the numbers five of six for four, and last night he was six of seven. It's pretty efficient. Pretty efficient. When you think about this backcourt for Richmond next year, you'll have Quan Four as a redshirt senior, so a fifth year guy, and Gilliard in his second year. Pressure up the floor. We got a piece of it and knocks it out. No chance for the Monties to get a shot off. So Gilliard doing it all the way to the end of this opening half. The early run for Richmond. Bonnies came back, but this is a good one. Tied up at 32 at the break. Golden. Um. Get a great deal more than a great deal. At the Hyundai Season of More event, get up to $37.50 in total savings or 0% APR for 60 months, plus $17.50 cash back. Sale ends soon. It's the first ever spring Black Friday flooring sale at Lumber Liquidators. Shop now and save on the hottest styles of 2018, like wood look waterproof floors up to 50% off. When it's waterproof, it's worry proof. And get up to 36% off 30 styles of laminate, like antique farmhouse hickory. Take 5 to 10% off our already low prices on hardwood and bamboo with coupon. Get more from 49 cents and up to 48 month financing. Don't miss the first spring Black Friday flooring sale. Get to Lumber Liquidators today. You know what the other guy's idea of seafood is? A squished fish patty on a bun. My idea of seafood is Popeye's Butterfly Shrimp Tackle Box. Eight shrimp and all this for five bucks. Sticking with chicken? Go for my $20 meal deal. The Kentucky Derby! Players' Championship. The Premier League Champions. The King wins. Soldiers are burned in the Preakness. The Penguins have won the Stanley Cup. NBC Sports Championship season presented by Canada Drive begins with the Kentucky Derby on NBC. Back inside Capital One Arena, halftime couldn't be any closer. 32 wall, Richmond trying to pull off the upset. The seven seed over the two seed, the Bonnies of St. Bonaventure. Terry Gannon back with David Kaplan. Good one here. And one of the reasons is the co-player of the year in the A-10, Jalen Adams, shot out at halftime. Yeah, I've had him a number of times, Terry. I've never yeah. seen him look this off 
in terms of his shot. It's not that it's rimming out. He's not close with his shot right now. That's a big problem. They need points out of him, and he's got to be creating. That was right at the start of the game, and he got a couple of really clean looks. He's given the freedom to shoot the ball from anywhere on the court. He just isn't close right now, so we'll see. Maybe take a break. Relax at halftime. If he comes out and he hits his first, it probably opens things up. And you do figure that's going to change on some level. A couple of assists so far in this game, but 0 for, 0 for 4, 0 for 3 beyond the arc. A man who averages over 20 points per game. It's Courtney Stockard who's carried the load offensively for the Bonnies tonight. He's been playing great the last three, four games. Matt Mobley, three of six and eight points. Jordan Cornett caught up a few moments ago with Mark Schmidt, the head coach of the Bonnies. Here, Coach Schmidt, tie ball game, Coach. That backcourt for Richmond was giving you fits. How do you tighten up defensively? Yeah, you know, in our zone, they, they were getting shots from the wing. We got to do a better job of showing and getting bumped back. Um, you know, offensively, we got to attack the basket. We had two foul shots in the first half. We just got to be more aggressive. So in, in order to survive in advance for you guys, what do you need to do in this second half to move on to the next Same round? All the time. Defend, rebound, take care of the basketball, make our foul shots. And if we can do that, then we can win the game. Coach Schmidt, thanks for the time. All right, Jordan, thank you. They he did get some production off the bench as well. Ladarian Griffin came off the bench. Seven points, three of three from the floor and seven rebounds. So here we go. Open up the second, tied at 32. And a turnover on the first possession for the Bonnies. Just a bad pass. I don't know where he was looking. For the up and under, great lead for Golden. Great start for the Spiders. Really good unselfish play. How many times would you see a guy want to hang, try and flip it off the board and spin it home? And he saw a guy with a better opportunity to score in Golden, and he gave it up. And Golden with nine points in the game so far. So Adams controls, looking for his first bucket of the contest. Stockard was terrific in that first half. Mobley a deep three. And I mean deep. That is, that is really deep. I don't know how you defend that. Well, you don't. Because Quan Four looked around and said, but I have to go out that far? I can't believe that. And he, I mean, it was nothing but net. The double, in fact, the triple on Golden. They swing it. Buckingham, penetration kick. Which they do time and again. Under 10 on the shot clock, though. So Golden's got to go. Top of the key, way off. And here's Mobley, who averages 18 points per game. Over to Adams. Again? Yeah, again. He's locked in. I saw this in only in New York against George Washington when they doubled Adams, and Mobley said, I got this. And at 30 or thereabouts and was just awesome from all over the place. He's had three games this season of over 30 points, six in his career. That's going to turn it over off his knee back to the Bonnies. I mean, he, this is just so hard to guard because he's a good 30 feet out. You're thinking to go ahead, take that shot. And that's the second time down. Paul Evans, our great stats man, says two threes in 42 seconds. He counted them. And that is 60 feet of jump shot. Not again. Oh, why not three in a row? We're going to make Paul work to count the seconds again. That's nine and 50 seconds, right? <laughs> man, single-handedly coming out of the break with a run. I mean, this is just ridiculous range. Adam says, my buddy's got the hot hand. Go get a big guy. It is so much fun to be in the zone. Nothing like it. Reserve soldiers use their skills to make the army even more capable and gain the tools to make themselves even more successful. Learn how at GoArmyReserve.com. The Miami Cuban with slow roasted pork loin, a sandwich from a city that's so far south. It's close to Cuba. Arby's, we have the meat. 
Introducing Dell Cinema, technology with incredible color, sound, and streaming. Just as the creators intended. Up to $200 off at Dell.com. When heartburn hits, fight back fast with Tums Chewy Bites. Fast relief in every bite. Crunchy outside, chewy inside. Tums Chewy Bites. How about these right Twix packs? I'm more of a love Twix guy myself. Acting like they're the same thing is as ignorant as saying you, a bouncer, the same as me, a doorman. Excuse me, is there a cover? Nah, but it's five bucks to get in. Left and right Twix packs. It's time to decide. Same on adventure, or should I say Matt Mobley, up 41-34 right now over Richmond. He is locked in, but every scouting report you get tells you, stop Adams, stop Mobley. Those guys have unlimited range, so when they come across half court, and a guy's already made 60 feet of jumper in the last 42 seconds, Nick Sherrod, number five in the middle of your screen, what are you doing, son? You have got to know Mobley is out there at the wing. Here comes the kick. Watch number five. He just standing there. Golden goes, well, I'll go out and get him if you're not going to. But that was not Golden's man. That was Sherrod's man. You got to work a lot harder, young man. So, by the way, we've counted. It was Marty Aronoff who counted, not Paul this time. Three threes in a minute, 17 seconds. Thank you, gentlemen. Boy, some kind of show from Mobley. He's had a steal during that time as well. 9-0 run in just over a minute. And again, Richmond needs an answer, as they did after that run in the opening half. Gilliard, nowhere to go right there. Here comes Mobley, the man, and there's a foul. They'll foul him. It was Sherrod, I believe, in the middle of the court that got him with his leg. And his second. Mobley's just playing at a different level right now. Boy, well, looks over at Adams and says, okay, maybe not your night. It is my night to take over. And that he has. A peasy to the left hand. What a jump hook. That was, that had to be perfect because it was a line drive. <laughs> there was no chance it was getting rim and dropping. It was high enough that he was shooting down. Another problem I've never had. No. Largest lead of the game. And he took the steps. He stumbled. He just wasn't sure what he was going to do with it. And Richmond right now looking for a little poise, too. And Chris Mooney. You're right. They're out of sync. Jalen Adams. And Peasy was there. Cross court somehow got to Taki. Quick hands. Stockard got it back. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Mobley's thinking about it. Yeah, he is. Great look pass. underneath. And it's Stockard with the finish. So as he's got the ball and he's looking, should I go up? Should I go up? Everybody is shaded that way. And he makes a magnificent pass. Here and we go. Stockard, showtime. Bam. 15-0 run from the Bonnies. And 13 of the points came from Mobley through steals or threes. Or passes. Four and the foul will go to the free throw line. Acrobatic move from the little man. Well, Matt Mobley, he keeps, the, should I go? Should I go? And then look at that cut. Finds his teammate Stockard right along the baseline. Beautiful pass. McBeasy picked up his first three-point play. Kind of settles the crowd a little bit. 
but it is still a double digit lead for the Bonnies. That was a much needed three point play. With all that Mobley has done, don't forget Courtney Stocker, too. He's seven of eight from the floor. He's got 16 points along with three rebounds, three assists. There is that man again. He just looked at you and I with a big smile like, what do you want me to tell you? And everything's going in right now. How much fun is that? I think it's awesome. Scramble. Golden. Down to seven on the shot clock. Gilliard up to four. Golden to follow. No. He's begging for a call. Didn't get one. Goes Chris Mooney. He's not happy at all. Go ahead. Take it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie's haven't missed in this half. They're seven of seven. And they haven't been just layups, as you know. And they still haven't missed. And another three. Stocker getting into the three ball party again. Wow. All I mean, you can do is shake your head. It's, it's one of those nights right now. Step up the passing lane and send it in. And then, hey, I got a guy who's got a hot hand. I'm going to find him. It is contagious. And then let's skip it over the top. Get it over the top. Buckingham, wide open look. Bam. Stockard right, with fun. the three. You know it was tied up at halftime. 21-3 to three run. More and more people are finding themselves in a Chevrolet for the first time. Trying something new can be exciting, empowering, downright exhilarating. See for yourself why Chevrolet is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Switch into a new Chevy now with 20% below MSRP on these select 2018 models or 0% financing for 72 months on 2018 Tahoe and Suburban models. Chevrolet, find new roads. All rise for Premier League mornings tomorrow on NBCSN. The Stanley Cup playoffs begin April 11th. My name is Joe Smith. I was the number one draft pick in 1995. All of this is fixable. Are you in? Back in the game. Series premiere Tuesday at 10. CNBC. Get yours. So, which one of you fellas is having trouble finding affordable car insurance? I was supposed to drive today. Yeah, but Turbo got himself a mess of tickets. And he let his car insurance expire. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Use your smartphone and get an anonymous online quote right now. Besides low payments, the General will give you credit for any prior coverage you've had in the past five years. Let the General help make your life easier. <laughs> for a great low rate you can get online, go to the General and save some time. With CarGurus, you don't have to know much about cars to know everything about a car. New wheels, huh? What year? 2016. What you got under the hood? Honestly, I don't know what I'm looking at. But I use CarGurus, so I know I got a great deal. CarGurus has more listings than any other major site, gives each car a deal rating, and sorts the best deals first. Turbo or supercharged? Both. Go to CarGurus today to find great deals from top-rated dealers near you. Hard to believe when you look at that score. 53-37. It was tied up at 32 at the break. And it is, make no mistake about it, the Matt Mobley show. Yeah, it's Matt Mobley's world, and we're all just living in it. This guy's been unbelievable. I mean, look where that shot is from. And I mean pure. Then they get him the ball again. Way downtown. Net. Get him another one. Goldman a little late getting out there. I mean, you've got to know where this guy is at all times. He is locked. He looked at you and I right there with the smile like, sorry, guys. It's good TV. It's that Michael Jordan look when right. you look over and smile and you shake Portland. your head. And, yeah, exactly. Hey, man, I don't know. It's just my night.
See the difference Richmond and Mobley and what Mobley and Stockard have given them tonight. Six of nine beyond the arc and three of four. And remember that the half opened up with Golden in the bucket. And since then, it's a 21 to three run. Less than four and a half minutes. And again, poise. I mean, not, not panicking right now. It's hard not to if you're Richmond. Buckingham hits the deck hard, and they're going to call the foul. Idris Taki, that's three on him. Good aggressive take. And if you're Richmond, I mean, there's an eternity left. 14.34 to go. Just keep running your sets and trying to get good shot opportunities. And by the way, if Mobley keeps shooting the way he is, nobody's going to beat them anyway. No chance. So you, you just kind of figure that's not going to keep happening the rest of the half. And then the other problem is most teams might, might have one guy that can do that. They got another one who's been ice cold. He can get hot like got, that. Got the, the ability, yep. Fifty-three thirty-nine as we approach the 14 and a half minute mark here in the second got one more to come tonight St. Louis taking on Davidson Davidson the three seed playing very well down the stretch here at the end of the year St. Louis with a win last night in a tale of two halves over GW Caputo came on Mobley wants it Again, oh God. I mean it is just redundant Nine for nine. <laughs> six just, for six beyond the arc this half. Just ridiculous. He's five of five beyond the arc in the half. Offense. Yep, it is. Grant Golden whistled for the offensive foul. Well, they're just... I mean, that is just so unbelievably deep. As a shooter, there are nights when you know you get in that zone. If you can get your shot off, it's going in. And, and right now, that man is in that zone. And it's rare. You'll have good nights. This is off the charts good. You can't make yourself get into that zone. You wonder why you can't. Right. And it's frustrating. But, I mean, you watch shooters. Now, this is something to watch. Because if you could get in that zone, you bottle it, you'd be a billionaire. Yeah. And the foul underneath as Griffin followed up. Julius Johnson with the foul, so Griffin will go to the free throw line. He had a very productive first half, Griffin did. Chris Mooney is almost to half court yelling to Tony Chiazza saying, Tony, are you kidding? Tony wasn't kidding. Remember, this is a team, an RPI of 21, three wins against top 50 teams, six wins against top 70 clubs. And a big win at Syracuse. And a little look into how explosive they can be. KO inside out, Johnson back to him. Looking for something offensively. They have had very little here in the second half. And a blocking foul underneath. Get Adams. There's the entry. Kind of fell before there was contact. I did. I almost would have called nothing there. So it just gave you numbers on the Bonnies in the second half. Richmond two of five with five turnovers in the second half. As efficient as they were in the opening half, the opposite now. KO, a lot of hands in there trying to take it away. Eventually on the line and it stays here. Six on the shot clock. Yeah, real nice job defensively. And I think the ball hit Ladarian Griffin as he was standing on the baseline. Nick Sherrod back on the floor.
Gilliard. Quick three rattles it home. They finally are able to hit one deep. Much needed three, but we're seeing over the last couple three years, guys are taking deeper and deeper threes as the Golden State style has started to become so much more popular. Are they going to miss one in the second half, you think? I'm going to roll the dice and say yes, but I wouldn't be shocked if they didn't the way they're shooting it. <laughs> Over seven minutes, seven and a half minutes off the clock. They're nine for nine. There's the reach on Sherrod, and that's three on Nick Sherrod, and he is scoreless in the game. Here's a man who averages 14 and a half points per game. He's yet to get on the board. Yeah, he's just not having a great night tonight, offensively or defensively. He's a talented kid. At 17 points and four rebounds last night in the win over Duquesne. See how long it takes him here to miss a shot. Mobley? Oh, oh my God. Come on now. See what he just you did. You have Michael got Jordan. to be kidding me. He went. He pulled the Michael. I mean, he got the, <laughs> the full MJ that time with the reaction. I mean, this is extraordinary. <laughs> it is. I. It, called a billion games. I've never seen it like this. There's the foul. Did he take it off the glass? I think they're going to call the foul out on the floor. Okay. Mobley, 6 of 6 from three-point range in the half. 26 in all. As a team, they are 10 for 10 since the break. I mean, Quant Borg's right there. Right there. He goes, you can't do it again. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to be him right now. ADT now helps protect your family at home and on the go. Call today and get ADT's best offer. Get an ADT starter kit installed free, including a security panel, keypad, key fob, entry and motion sensors. And for a limited time, get a security camera at no additional cost, a $449 savings. Plus, you'll get ADT Go, the new family mobile safety app and service equipped with SOS emergency response with any ADT security system. ADT, always there, now everywhere. There's a secret in them Smoky Mountains. And it's my new KFC Smoky Mountain Barbecue. Made by taking my freshly prepared extra crispy fried chicken and coating it in a sweet and smoky barbecue. Try it in a tender's basket at KFC, now just $4.99. It's finger licking good. I try to take care of my teeth, but there's acid in what I eat and drink every day that can do damage over a lifetime. So my dentist told me to go pro with Crest Pro Health. Crest Pro Health protects against acids in everyday food and drinks better than regular toothpaste. That's how you nail a checkup. Crest. Land Rover above and beyond. At the University of Richmond, you get a leading liberal arts university in a dynamic capital city where you can be an accountant and an artist. Research alongside faculty and have an internship in your field. Be part of Division I athletics and highly ranked academics. The University of Richmond. We are, you are. It's not often you can say perfect and be accurate. Usually it's an exaggeration. Second half, perfect for St. Bonaventure. 10 of 10. Wow. And Matt Mobley has been extraordinary. So what does Richmond try to do here to counter to inside the game with Jordan? Well, if Richmond's looking to counter, they better dial up the defensive intensity. And with how hot St. Bonaventure is, that means stepping the pressure out and pushing it out a lot further. Mental lapses like this video right here cannot happen for the Spiders if they look for a comeback. Take a look. Offensively, pretty good defensive pressure right there. But then you forget about the hot hand that's Mobley right there. Nobody defensively has an awareness of him. He's just going to go undeterred. Stockard finds him, and at that point, Gilliard at 5'9", closing out, is not enough for a hot hand. One of many for the St. Bonaventure team in the second half. Those are just extraordinary numbers. 
six of six in this half. I don't know. I, 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 if you're Chris Mooney, even if you haven't played boxing one before, I think I draw that one up in the huddle and just face guard this man everywhere. Yeah, you and I were debating that off air. And I said, well, what about Adams? She's like, he's not making shots yet. But he's got such ability to make shots. I guess yeah, make you prove it. You got a known quantity against somebody who might make shots. And you're down 17. Johnson, good backdoor cut and a look. That's what they do on offense. Well orchestrated. Let's see what they do here. I would hope. Oh, there you go, Adams missed again. I would. I would hope that if it was my team I was coaching, I would have a guy on the roster who would go, give him to me. Let me have him. You'd hope you have a guy like that. By the way, we, we just found out they're at least human in the second half. They, they can miss. Yeah, they're 10 of the 11. Other yeah. That's 91%. Gilliard to the free throw line. Three percent free throw shooter does what you would expect he'd do at the line. But what a good player for a freshman! He just has oh. come five nine simulated himself. Unbelievable! Five nine, 160 pound freshman from Kansas City. Idris Taki comes back on with three fouls. Caputo to the bench. You know, if, if you're Mobley. And Mark Schmidt ever right now motion to you to come out. You you just would walk the other way. There's no way I'm coming out. No chance, coach. Sorry. I thought for a minute that's who he was taking out. I'm like, no. Look at Gilliard just trying to be in his pocket. And that was going up until Gilliard changed it. Adams offense. offensive foul. So the bucket finally opens up for him, but after a foul, and it doesn't count. The but, second for Jalen, but I've seen him get 40 on a night. So you think, well, maybe tomorrow it'll be his turn. That's what makes yeah, him oh so yeah. tough. Yeah, no question. Oh. Oh. Golden, no. Nothing happening at this end in the second half. 14 points in the second half so far, nearly at the 10 minute mark for Richmond. And there is the face guard. Eventually yeah. he gets it, but they tried to keep him from getting it. Look where, and he lost it. So the turnover goes back to the Spiders. Really good defense, though, by Quan Four. Well, they changed the defense, too. No, they switched everything out top and said, we're going to verbally pass him along so that somebody is in his pocket the entire time. Yep. Nick Peasy comes on. Stocker takes a seat. Because you can't take a chance on trying to fight through a screen, go underneath, go over the top, whatever it takes. You've got to just switch it. You have to. Julius Johnson, given time, buries the three. So just like that, it's a 10 point game. Hanging around. Oh, it's like that part of the game where you listen to the crowd and one one side gets a little excited the other you can hear the nerves as you just did from the bonnie's a 7-0 run by the way before this whistle johnson says to griffin okay you're not gonna guard me you're gonna give me a little bit of room and all of a sudden they're hanging around Juan four picked up the foul look out Asking a bit much. Griffin, no, just follows it up. So even when he doesn't make it, he doesn't hit rim, and there's the follow. Four at the other end. And it's swatted. Well, he actually says that was a pass. <laughs> so yes. Derek Wittenberg taught me I, that one. There are those who would claim it. <laughs> one inside out to Gilliard. Nice look. Yeah, beautifully set up. We got a ball game. Nine-point game. And they look better offensively. Back, More flow. Back to the rhythm that they normally have. No question. You kind of get hit upside the head by Mobley and what he was doing is so extraordinary that you're shaking. Finally, that man gets on the board. Jalen Adams, the up and under. If I had told Mark Schmidt, hey, your guy Adams is going to have zero points 
with 9.20 to go. The answer at the other end. Two in a row for Julius Johnson. Had a solid effort last night in the win over Duquesne. He was in double figures with 11. 63-55, and the Spiders back in it. How do you want to live? As a decent person? Good husband. Is that it? Good? Of course not. King of the Hill? Better. Top of your game? Win. All powerful. Like a boss. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. Step up to GMC with over 12,000 total value on a specially equipped 2018 Sierra SLT Crew Cab model when you finance through GM Financial. Hurry. Offer ends Monday. Basketball is a funny game. Everything going right at one end, and all of a sudden it switches, goes to the other end, and shots are going in, as they did on the last couple of trips. Well, really nice kick. Gilliard's open. His feet are set. Shoulders over his toes, and it's just get him the ball, and he's loaded up. And then there's the kick to Julius Johnson. Those are two really good, clean looks that came through running the offense. For more on the Spiders, we check in again with Jordan. Listening in on the Richmond huddle, Coach Mooney imploring his guys, have an awareness of Mobley, have an awareness of Adams. I don't care what he's done. Run at these guys and make sure by all means rebound and let's get out and go. High energy in that huddle with the Spiders. Got to have a little bit of a lift after what they've done the last couple of minutes. Bonnies were up by 17 to the left hand again, Igbizi. Coming right out of the timeout and drawn up by Mark Schmidt. Amadi Ipizi. It's not pretty. He averages four game, but he's given them two big baskets tonight. Right in the paint. Sherrod still can't buy one. Had Mobley ahead of the pack. Didn't see him. Adams, what a pass. Blocked at the rim, but there's a foul. How about the look? from Adams on the run. That pass was sensational. On the bounce, right there on the money. No doubt about the foul, but a sensational feel. Buckingham picks up the foul. That's his first. See the team fouls on the screen. Shooting the rest of the way, and Griffin buys the first. Griffin with 11 in the game. Had missed from the floor. 8 minutes, 20 seconds left. And it's a 12-point lead. Scramble defense here. It's off the leg of Sherrod. Chris Mooney pleading the case, standing right next to the official. He is furious at the call and it was right there next to him. It was tough for me to see it with so many bodies. Adams doing other things even when he's not scoring. Won't get the assist this time because Griffin missed. He gets a putback. Tipped out, stays here. When, when you yell at your big man, come on. What are you, you're killing me on the... I got the no points. I need my assist. <laughs> Breaking the action just under eight minutes to go. And the Bonnie's up by 14. Give me an assist in my book, kid. Really nice pass. Griffin's got to make that. He misses, but he does a good job staying with it and sticking it back home. I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. You should have come prepared, Sir Glenn. You saw how long my to-do scroll was. Didn't stop the rest of us. No excuses. Snap into bold flavored protein. Snap into a Slim Jim. The finer things in life now include a smoked meat stick 
made with premium pork or 100% grass-fed beef raised without hormones. Feast your eyes and your mouth on new Slim Jim premium smoked sticks. Liberty Mutual stood with me when this guy got a flat tire in the middle of the night, so he got home safe. <sighs> yeah, my dad says our insurance doesn't have that. What? You can leave worry behind when Liberty stands with you. Liberty Mutual Insurance. I'm here for an important reason, colon cancer screening. If you're age 50 or older and at average risk, Cologuard finds cancer and precancer, and it's a non-invasive test you can use at home. In fact, I'm as easy as get, go, gone. How do you get me? Your doctor orders me, and I'm delivered directly to your doorstep. There's no need for time off or special prep, because I use the DNA in your stool to find colon cancer. Then you just go. I mean, collect your sample. Then I'm gone. Just ship me to the lab. Gotta go. Cologuard is intended for individuals at average risk for colon cancer. Cologuard is not for high-risk individuals, including those with a history of colon cancer or polyps, IBD, certain hereditary cancer syndromes, or a family history of colon cancer. Cologuard, colon cancer screening that's as easy as get, go, gone. Ask your doctor if Cologuard is right for you. All of this and one more, too. You got St. Louis and Davidson. Davidson, the Wildcats, the number three seed, playing great. Got the co-player of the year in the conference and Peyton Aldridge. Great young player, too, Kellen Grady. And St. Louis having won last night over GW, 70-63. They were awful in the first half, came back strong, scored 49 points in that second half to advance. So... One more on tap tonight, but this one not over yet. 7.50 left here. And 69.55. St. Bonaventure with the lead as they look to advance to the semis. So I was talking with Mark, and he was telling me the story about bouncing around the jobs, working on a Coca-Cola truck with the name tag Mark on his shirt. Go, what am I doing? Sitting in a break room trying to keep my dream alive. He said, I finally get hired at Loyola, Maryland. I buy a house. My wife is taking care of moving all our stuff. Call said, honey, I'm in route. I got all our stuff. He goes, good. Don't take it out of the car because I just took another job. We're moving to Cincinnati. <laughs> Put the house back up for sale. She goes, we closed four days ago. He said, good. Don't even move in. Sell it. I'm moving to Cincinnati. I'll see you there as soon as you can get there. So you want to be a coach, huh? Life of a coach. That is the life of a coach. There's the reach. Taki, that's his fourth. And a quick first step by four got him that time. So at the 9-12 mark, we're at 7.33 right now. And Johnson's three-pointer cut the lead to eight. And it's been St. Bonaventure since. Six straight points. Idris takes the seat on Mark Schmidt's bench. There's Johnson. He's done some good work the last couple of nights. And four at the free throw line. Look at his numbers. Really efficient the last two nights. I said to you earlier, he and Gilliard together for the full season next year with mm -hmm. a redshirt senior in four and now a sophomore then in Gilliard. They're going to be really tough along with Grant Goldman. That's going to be a beast of a team to play. You've got a year this year where you have a lot of a lot of turnover in the league, including five new coaches, but some young teams looking ahead to next year. It's going to be a different league. You got Buckingham, just a sophomore. Adams, the floater over Golden, tipped up. No. Griffin. And a foul. Well, they are, they are just going after the glass right now. They are. They're missing some stick backs that you think they would make. But look at that number right there. 62 starts by freshmen, 58 by sophomores, zero by a senior. Nick Sherrod, 6'4", 230, a sophomore. I mean, they've got some players here. Johnson back for another year. Yeah. Everybody that's graduating from Rhode Island, you say, well, which is the team that could take the next step? Hmm. Be tough to pick against this club. 
Griffin, three of seven, make it three of eight now from the line. So the Spiners very much in it. As four controls. Offense. Out of control. So the offensive foul on Quan four. Yep. Not even a decision. He had a look just inside the three-point stripe and then decided to put it on the deck. I thought he should have taken the jump shot. 17 points off the turnovers for St. Bonaventure as Adams works around the screen. Coming back to Griffin. They left him alone. They'll take it. Dish it. Ikezi with the dunk. Well, Mobley was open and they started to shade toward him and it just opened that whole middle area up. Good finish. Adams. Good read. Lost the handle. Got it to the man, though. And it barely touched his hands. He got it out and in. For the strip, but the foul on Jalen Adams. I mean, <laughs> it barely touched his hands. I mean, literally. It, here comes the steal. He goes down the court. Good job by Adams to wait. Now let him get set. Two. 29 in the game and 7 of 8 from three-point range. Such a great release. This is some exhibition. 9 of 13 from three. Love watching shooters. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. So he's going after a career high in terms of three-pointers. I don't remember the four misses. I don't they, either. They were early, I know. I remember the one was the one I compared to Derek Wittenberg. It was the pass. <laughs> that was it. Foul keeps it at this end. Yeah, that's the only one he missed this half. So the ninth team foul, and obviously shooting the rest of the way. It'll be four going to the free throw line. And not even breathing heavily. You don't get tired when you're doing this. And he's, you're right, he's just bouncing along, having a good old time. Golden just came out. He's been quiet for quite some time. And Grant, with nine points in the game, but early. So Sherrod back in, and he has really struggled. As the foul, McBeasy, who's a 68% free throw shooter. And they were doing it on purpose. Now, I mentioned Golden's been quiet. Remember, he had the opening bucket of the second half. He did, and then you haven't seen much out of him. They've done Nothing. a really good job Nothing. on him, and they haven't really gotten the ball to him either. It was right after that. St. Bonaventure went on a 21-3 run. Amadi he must have some blood on the floor. And not done yet. Solution on here to get it all everything. They're going to a number of different places So you watch this team tonight, and I know you thought they were in already St. Bonaventure and most people You talk to tend to think that is true But a real look at how explosive they can be offensively tonight, right? And the, the selection committee watches everything I told you, Dr. Jim Phillips from Northwestern is on the committee, and I believe he was assigned this league, so we know he's watching. And you know other members of the committee will say, well, who's playing right now? Put that game on. This has got to impress them. So the Haka Amadi works this time. So we the double bonus the rest of the way. Sherrod for the first time tonight, and that's a three. 
12 point game with a ton of time. Never went out here. Adams will walk it across. Jalen one for seven from the floor tonight and 0 for four from three point range. No way. Just two points. Thought they lost it twice. McPeasy with the miss. And the foul on Ladarian Griffin. So they will walk to the other end and shoot two. Mark Smith to Caputo. What are you doing? <laughs> Not happy. It's about the best scenario you could hope for if you're Richmond. Clock stops, and you get a chance for two here and to then make you go it a back 10 point game. Hack it, Ikpizi. Perhaps. Although there's two fouls the rest, or two shots the rest of the way. Taki comes back on with four fouls. Cap oh, Caputo's got to go talk to his coach. <laughs> That's the worst. Get in for him and make sure you stop and see me. 10 point game, five and a half minute mark. Griffin. Offensive foul, so Richmond gets the ball back. Trying to do too much. Run your offense. Last two possessions, they haven't taken care of the ball on the first one. Nick PZ was had the ball, said, well, I got a decent shot. He takes it, so it's not a shot from Mobley or Adams. And this one, you charge. Third foul on Griffin. Good chance for Richmond now. Johnson has got a couple of threes. Gilliard, they're on a 7-0 run. Four trying to make it more. Block along the baseline. So four will go to the free throw line. Ikpizi just a little late getting there. And again, chance to score without the clock move. Yep. He was outside the restricted. Kind of got it to the side. That's a block. He got there with you. The way the rule is written now, if you leave your feet, the offensive player, whether the defender is stationary or not, if he slid in there after you took off, that is a block by definition. They've tried in the last two off seasons to make it easier on the official to call block charge. Was he in the air? Did he set after that? It's a block. Hardest call in the game anyway. So it is an eight-point game at the five-minute mark. 9-0 run. You can hear the Spider fans back into it. Adam sets it up. Long baseline. PZ, they got fortunate. Tipped it up. And Buckingham clears the rebound. Well, they've gotten away from their guards. Three straight possessions. Those guys aren't really involved. DeMonte Buckingham slides in. Six-point game. So on an 11-0 run, Mark Schmidt not going to call a timeout here. But Adams just run the show. Griffin. Johnson let Mobley get it. Back to Griffin. Short. Good defense. Shot was changed. Momentum on the side of the Spiders. Sherrod way off. Felt it. It didn't come through. And now Mark Schmidt will call a timeout to talk things over at the four-minute mark. Exactly four minutes in his club not playing very well right now. Gotten away from what got them a 17-point lead. Full timeout taken. So a two-possession game right now with a lot of time left. Well, Buckingham with a really nice finish slithering through the lane. Here he comes, around three guys off the window. We got a ball game in the nation's capital. When you look at the Mercedes-Benz GLC, with its high-tech cameras and radar, contemporary cockpit, 
360 degree network of driver assist technologies and sporty performance. What's most impressive about the GLC? All depends on your point of view. The 2018 GLC, starting at 40,050. Mercedes Benz, the best or nothing. This is Lobster Fest at Red Lobster with exciting new dishes like dueling lobster tails and lobster truffle mac and cheese. Classics like Lobster Lover's Dream are here too. So enjoy these 10 lobster-licious dishes while you can because Lobster Fest won't last. Army Reserve soldiers use their skills to make the Army even more capable and gain the tools to make themselves even more successful. Learn how at GoArmyReserve.com. Hey, we didn't have a homeowner's claim last year, so all states giving us money back on our bill. Seems fair. Didn't use it. We should got money back on gym memberships. Get money back. Hilarious. With claim-free rewards. Switching to Allstate is worth it. How to get this yard? Behind Pete's great-looking yard is his secret weapon. The Scott's Turf Builder Program. It's the best way to get the yard you want all year long, guaranteed. All it takes is four feedings with a Scott solution for every season. And with a customized plan from the Scott's My Lawn app, your yard can look like Pete's. It's that easy. This is a Scott's yard. Download the Scott's My Lawn app for your personalized plan. Last bucket for St. Bonaventure at the 625 mark, a three-pointer by Mobley. Since then, it's been an 11-0 run by the Richmond Spiders. They have done a really nice job defensively, a really good job on the glass, one and done. And they've hit shots when they've gotten opportunities. Gilliard, ring it up. Buckingham makes the extra pass. Johnson may take a little long to get it going, but he hoists it, makes it right down the lane for Buckingham. So they've done a really good job at taking advantage of what's given to them. Give me an open look for Sherrod. He'll make that too. Cap, the other thing they've done is get to the free throw line. Big disparity at the line. Richmond 15 of 17 tonight, and the Bonnies 3 of 9 which has allowed them to score points without the clock moving when they're 17 points behind. And part of that has fueled an 11-0 run over just 220. All right, the timeout taken by Mark Schmidt. What did he tell them, you think, in the huddle? Guys, settle down and let's get back to running our offense. No disrespect to Ikpizi and Griffin, but the last five possessions, they've taken all the shots. Yeah, Cap, you're absolutely right. He was saying, settle down, guys, let's run our stuff. Very cerebral huddle. You would think guys would be edgy, trying to get guys a charge, put a light into them, and get them fired up, but not that at all. Very calm huddle, saying just stay within ourselves. Adams hesitated for a moment. Good look again. PG can't get it to go, though. It's an easy one underneath. He should have made. I get it, but six possessions in a row, and their two best players haven't taken the shot. Long three, too long for Gilliard. Didn't need it. That's a great pass. You can't, can't, argue, you can't argue with that. No, I, mean, I agree. It. It's a but layup. My, my whole point is the entirety of the six possessions is my best two scorers haven't taken a shot going now on to our seventh possession. Double high here. Now as PZ goes low, Adams bouncing out top. Looks for a space, finds it to key is fouled underneath. Great pass by Adams. You know, the question that NBA scouts have said to me, and we've got a number of them in the building tonight, is, okay, we love Adams as a shooter. Can Adams be a point guard at that height in the NBA? Got to show me he can run an offense. I think he's made some magnificent passes tonight. Boy, they are 3 of 10 now. From the line. How do you it start a half... 10 of 10 from the floor. Exactly. 6 of 6 from 3, and you can't make a free throw. I know. Get somebody to guard you in there. In and out, back in. Even when you make one, it looks like it's going out. Oh. 4 of 11 from the line. It, but you're right. Adams has had to do the other things because he hasn't had the touch tonight, and he has. 
So the three-minute mark, 75-68. Johnson looking for a little opening. Spotting up now. The three. Was it touched? No. They say no. Bonnie basketball. You know, the other thing is we haven't seen Golden in how long? They've decided we got to play a little more up-tempo, so we're going small. Close. And going small in part to do this, the scramble and the quick foul by Johnson. So it'll be Griffin going to the line. And it goes back, you and, you and I had this argument last night. I know there's a double bonus, but when a team is not shooting free throws or can't shoot free throws, I, I think teams should look to do this more. I get it, but they're free throws. <laughs> yeah, but look at what they've done tonight. And you said that last night, and I argued with you, and he missed two. <laughs> so maybe you're right. Yeah, nothing but net this time. Or at least try it. It would just be, unless you're telling me I'm down to the final minute, it would just be so hard for me. It would be like waving the white flag going, well, we can't guard him, so let's force him to make free throws. Yeah. Got one. But would you not foul DeAndre Jordan? Yeah. I mean. I would. Eight-point game. Four. Almost oh, threw pass. it away. Sherrod, little hesitant. It's been that kind of night. Buckingham will let it fly, and that's a three. Quick timeout taken by Chris Mooney. Five-point game. Nice job to get a little bit of penetration and then go back to the three-point strike. The best way to a clean perimeter, perimeter look is through the paint. Good job. Really good job. Buckingham touched it. Now four. Now let's take a little dribble. Now let's kick it back and get him a look. Make people move. Bang. And you called for Golden. He was back on the floor. That's set. But I thought that's a good little action. Just give me three dribbles. Get inside the free throw line. I got to get guys to move. Now I go back out. So the five rebounds, five assists, along with the 12 points for DeMonte. So you go back to the foul? I don't. In a five-point game, no chance. Changes a bit now. You're just down five. Yeah. Now, if you told me DeAndre Jordan's there, I guess I get it. <laughs> Shaq, I get it. So you think about it, 227 left. 625 is the last time that Mobley took a shot. He's 10 of 14, 9 of 13 from three-point range, and he's got 29 in the game. I mean, the second half just absolutely has not been able to miss, and it's been some time, four minutes basically, since he's taken a shot. When has he touched it? I don't even remember him touching the ball. I just think they've settled, whether it was to key, Griffin, other guys are taking shots, and if I'm going down, I'm going down swinging with my best. Especially when he's on a heater. Free throw shooters out there right now for St. Bonaventure, other than Griffin, who's not had a great trip or two to the line. 14-2, the run by Richmond in the last four minutes with the pressure up the court. They do not foul here. It's Gilliard who's the closest man over to Mobley. The penetration by Adams tipped out with six on the clock. And you see that double come quickly to Adams before the penetration. Came right at him, but I thought if he had looked the other way, Mobley was spotted up. Adams... Just threw four right out of the way. The Caputo underneath. Change by Golden. Tip. No. Scramble. And the foul on Caputo. So they'll make that long walk to the other end and not shoot one-on-one, -on -one, but shoot two again. Yeah, and all of a sudden make two, and it's a three-point game yep. with a buck 54. McPeasy's going to come back in the game. And, and again, Gilliard, an 83% free throw shooter. So it, yeah, you can tell the look on the face of Mark Schmidt. On a night 
in the second half where they were up 17 at one point. Well, I didn't expect him to miss. Nor did he. Nick Peasy back on the floor. Caputo to the bench. One of two. Four-point game. The other aspect to having this backcourt as oh, a boy. coach. Well, he threw it away. He, four, and the foul didn't get the bucket. But who would believe Mobley and Adams together miscommunication and giving the basketball up? I don't think it was miscommunication, to be honest with you. I think he got lazy with the pass. I do. I think it's here. Take it. You take it. You can't be that cavalier at this point of the game with two guards guarding you. You yep. got two blue jerseys right there, and he said, it's me. Quan four to the line, just 65% on the season. But a big game again tonight. But Richmond deserves a lot of credit. There's no quit in that team. 17 down, and Chris Mooney was over there going, relax, relax. You know what they have done since Mobley hit that three. And he hasn't taken a shot since. So, nope, one of two. So he had four, and Gilliard go to the line, and that's two points you're leaving out there. And they'll walk to the other end as we've gotten to that point where it is a game of fouls. Tackle Ladarian time and see if he can make free throws. He hasn't tonight. Four of ten. Just think back yesterday, Dave Paulson. No panic. We're 14 down. They come back and win. Chris Mooney, no panic. We're 17 down. Second half. They're right in the ball game. Hit them both. By the way, Richmond out of timeouts. The Bonnies have one left. You're going to race it up the floor. Trailing by five. To the corner, Golden, who's been absolutely quiet. Four dishes. Buckingham with the miss underneath. And it stays at this end. And you get a fresh 30. Boy, he had every chance. Great pass. He saw Ikpizi rotating over, and he just rushed it. And he short-sided it. Rushed it and didn't use the glass. So they'll go to the monitor and take a look. And they scramble they underneath. Right. Yep. Again, they can use the monitor inside of two minutes to determine possession. Anybody touch it? I, well, it's tough to tell whose hand that was. Thought it was Mobley. I think it's yeah, Mobley. I think it is. And that was the call on the floor. So you would imagine. Yeah, it looks like it is Mobley. I think it's Mobley. And I think Mobley knew it because he dove after that thing. Let's think about what's transpired here. That lead of 17 points was 59 to 42. Just over 12 minutes left in the game. And that was on a three-pointer by Mosley. And he's taken two shots since that time. And that last one with 6.25 left. And it's down to five now. You know, one of the questions somebody tweeted at me said, when they go through a review, if they see a foul that wasn't called, no. you cannot reofficiate a play during a review. So you can use review to determine possession inside two minutes, but you cannot re-officiate a play unless there is a flagrant one or flagrant two foul. They can if they see contact to the head. That they can re-officiate. You can't just call a common foul. And they coming out. Stays with Rick. Yep, stays here at this end. So it's off of Mobley. So a minute 29, it's a five-point game chance to get within three or maybe two take the ball to the basket 
if he can get it in. Didn't have the option of calling a timeout, remember. Four trying to break him down. Cuts through. Foul. And one. How about that? That's wow. why I'm so tired of watching teams set. I got to get a three. I'm losing. Take the ball to the basket and lengthen the game. And they barely got it in, Cap. Barely got it in. Tipped around to Key saying, hey, that's over and back. No, there was no possession there. And then here comes four. He takes Mobley to the rack. And there's N1. It goes down in the scorebook if he makes the free throw the same as a three-pointer. There's Mobley on the reach, and there you go. Minute 20, and it's a two-point game. They'll bring Caputo back in. Easy goes out. Griffin's still in. He hit the last two free throws that he had. Everything gets difficult now. If you've had the lead and it's down to two, under two minutes. Now you start thinking, oh boy. Mobley controls. Lost the ball. Lost it the last time in the backcourt to scramble a jump ball. Possession arrow goes to Richmond. They get it back with a chance to take the lead. Too much dribbling. They're just completely out of sorts, St. Bonaventure. They were running their offense and getting guys looks, especially Mobley, obviously. And now they're out of sorts. Big Peasy comes back in for defense for the Bonnies. Gilliard to inbound with a little bit of pressure up the floor. Adams on four. Around the screen from Sherrod. No chance to drive. Under a minute. Buckingham the swing. Sherrod looking for space. Forces it up with the left in and out it goes. And wow. a rebound for the Bonnies. Ikpizi gets fouled. That ball was halfway yes, down. Yes, it was. You can feel the buzz in the arena. People are lo scope locked now. They thought this was a blowout. Look at this thing. I mean, it is in, out. Good rebound by Ikpizi, who I might remind you had just gotten substituted in. McPeasy 0 for 1 from the line tonight, 65%. The groans from one side. 7 of 16 tonight, 8 of 17. And it's a three-point game, so a one-possession game. Here comes 4. Gilliard. Don't need the three. Attack. Four. Trying to. Back to Buckingham. Golden doesn't want to go with it. Deep corner. Four. Slices through. Up at the rim. Taken away. But a foul. Wow. Griffin just rising up. Got a piece. What a big time play. If PC bites. That's. Uh, unless he got it with the body. That's all ball. Got him on the arm there. And that's the call. Whether you want to call it or not, that's where he close. got him. They got him on the arm. That's it's close. four on Griffin. Oh, wow. Wow. They have been so good all night at the free throw line until the last two minutes. And that, my friend, is called pressure. They call it high leverage. Johnson in. Golden to the bench. So the shot clock is off. 28.1. What do you do here if you're Richmond? I take the ball and trap it as hard as I can. I mean, at some point, you got to foul. At some point, but I don't want to put that guy on the line. But they're subscribing to the Terry Gannon method. I don't know about that, but if you're gonna if you're gonna foul, you go for that steal. You try. If you don't get it, you do have to foul early. No use in wasting time off the clock. Yeah, I might have trapped him and forced him to make a sure, pass. Sure. Then foul. Yep. Agreed. Wow. 
How many things are we going to say tonight? That, that just made me shake my head. 85% from the line, co-player of the year. Right. I wouldn't have wanted him on the line, and now he just did me a favor. And now it's a one-possession game either way. And again, if he makes it or not, take the ball to the basket. Caputo out, Igbizi in. They keep the tuning offense, defense. Now, if you go inside, kick it out, and get in a rhythm three, I'm okay with it. But to don't rush it up here. I got to get a three. No. Lengthen the game. Put your team in position to win. But Caputo just came out. I don't, I'm not sure he can come back in here. Lamar Simpson, the official, is over there. If they, yeah, if they already made the change, Shikpizi came in for him on this dead ball. And that's what they're explaining to Mark Schmidt. Brockington is the man who's going to come in for Shikpizi. As they because they want to apply some pressure up the floor here. No question. At least to make it difficult to bring it up for the Spiders. Four to Buckingham. Didn't get it back. Sherrod, the three. Oh, halfway down. Johnson had it, lost it. It's Adams who came up with it, and they're going to have to foul Jalen Adams again. Yeah, that wasn't the shot I would have wanted. It was not. A contested deep three. You, could, you got a hand in your face. It was close. Wasn't a bad shot. It was halfway down, too. I'm taking the ball to the rim. Adams. Who just missed one. And no longer a one possession game. And Mark Schmidt will call timeout to set up the defense after what he says in the huddle, surely, will be another make by Adams. So the high fives, not just yet, but they're feeling pretty good. Feeling better. Chance to be up five with 14. And here's the thing. 17-point lead in the second half. If you're a Bonnie fan, you're, th you're saying, okay, we got this. It it's done. But even beyond this, it would be a huge upset for Richmond to beat St. Bonaventure tonight. Huge. But when you're up 17 and your guys <laughs> made six consecutive threes, it would be extraordinary. Half, you're thinking, this is easy. Let's go back to that last Richmond possession. And I just subscribe to that's a high degree of difficulty. You think? It is. Get a good look. Contested. It wasn't that contested. That's uh, a good that's pretty, look. That's pretty contested. That's a good look. It's halfway down. Maybe for Terry Gannon, I, I that's like, a good look. I like your theory about the two with time remaining, but that's not a bad look for him. Man who had 58 threes on the year. I think Bonnie has to... They lose tonight, and they are going to be sweating sure. on Sunday. I think. I mean, you and I both think they're in, but if you lose your first game of the tournament it doesn't look good and you're and, and believe me I've been on both ends you don't want to be sitting there on Sunday and, and really wondering having lost early in the tournament right you know if you're Rhode Island you're like all right I think well, I think we're in anyway so Adams for the second one here to make it a five-point lead There it is. Both teams out of timeouts now. Ten seconds left. Sherrod, the turnaround this time. Nope, he missed again. Griffin, the rebound, the foul, and that should do it. With 6.4 left. Yeah, hard fought. Gallant effort out of Richmond, and there will be brighter days. Zero starts out of seniors. Doesn't make any difference to them tonight. It's still a bitter pill to swallow. 
But they'll go back to work next October 15th. No, guys, we got a chance to have a heck of a season. And that man's had a heck of a redshirt freshman year, Grant Golden. But looks like it's going to end right here. The winner, St. Bonaventure, you'd think here, getting the winner of Davidson and St. Louis tomorrow. And that game, that matchup still to come. And the woes continue at the free throw line. Griffin now 6 of 13. Defense will push up, but try to stay away from everybody. And not foul. Four lets it fly. And that will do it. It wasn't easy. It looked like it was going to be. Up by 17 at one point in the second half. It is an 83-77 win for St. Bonaventure. That was a great ball game. It was. It was a 17-point lead. We're thinking, well, the bodies are moving on. And the next thing you know, Richmond, no panic, no quit. And they were game and fought right till the end. But in the end, the better, ba better basketball team won. Matt Mobley, 29 points in the game. 9 of 13 from beyond the arc. His nine three-pointers made the most in A-10 tournament history. Had a career high as well. Don't overlook Stocker, too. 19 in the game, 8 of 9 from the floor. So another big game for Courtney Stocker. He had nine points out of Ikpisi. Two, what are you saying? Two more. Two more. Two more to get it done. Mobley and Adams played all 40 minutes. Juan Ford played all 40 minutes for the Richmond Spiders. So Richmond eliminated. St. Bonaventure moves on. That game at 3.30 Eastern tomorrow. One of the two semis after Rhode Island takes on St. Joe's. And St. Louis and Davidson still to come as we send it over to Jordan. Well, a heck of a finish, guys. That was an entertaining second half. Coach, Jalen Adams doesn't come out of the gate very strong, but his backcourt may have had a heck of a game in that moment. I always say that the first five minutes of the second half, the first ten possessions are critical, and, and Matt carried us. I don't know how many points he had in a row there, but he, he had big shots, and that's what we needed coming out of the locker room. And Jay didn't have, his, have the game that he usually has, but, you know, Matt stepped up, and we found a way to win. Coach, we always talk about pressure in this tournament. You guys being on the bubble, you talk about game sevens. It's another game seven. It's another game seven. What does that mean? We just get, you know, you put everything into it. There's no tomorrow. Uh, we've had game seven since we were two and four. 